What I remember was his eyes. He did, almost didn't look human on the start line. And the start Johnson got was just phenomenal. Fifty meters in, the race was was, was gone. And you knew he'd won. Johnson wins it. Lewis second. The race lived up to all expectations. And the world record has gone again. Just been handed a piece of paper here that, if it's right, it'll be the most dramatic story out of these Olympics or perhaps any others. The urine sample of Ben Johnson, Canada. Athletics, 100 meter, collected on Saturday, 24 September 1988, was found to contain the metabolite of a banned substance, namely stanozolol. It's an anabolic steroid. Cases such as Ben Johnson highlight that authorities were catching some of those that were cheating, but more needed to be done, especially away from competitions where there was evidence of athletes becoming ever more sophisticated in their approaches to taking performance-enhancing substances. Anti-doping authorities needed to work better together in a more consistent, harmonized manner. false statements to federal agents. Well, that decision was based on me being inexperienced, being mm -hmm. impatient, not really being the individual that wanted to wait for the results to come. Mm -hmm. You know, I was so used to being successful and winning and winning and winning mm -hmm. that when I got to the senior stage where I was competing with the rest of the guys in the world that were better than me, I took it badly. Mm -hmm. So I thought, I know I can beat them, but there's something else they're doing that's not working out here. I had no proof, but I had an inkling that something went right. My was, was got there to run. I can't say I feel that I won't get caught. I mean, whenever time comes, it comes. But uh, so far, I'm going to enjoy myself and run fast and uh, prove to the world that I'm the best runner. He knew I that run. people on drugs, they can turn it on and turn it off. Human beings cannot turn things on and off, but machines can. And that's what someone on drugs is. You were taking steroids. Yeah. Take right. Never knowingly did I take performance enhancing drugs. But the offer of going from number five in the world to being number one in the world, 
It was a no-brainer, really. Because really? what I've done, I could have done naturally anyway. You know, I guess I, I, as you get older, you, you, you take a little bit more time, you become a little bit more patient. Mm. You know, you wait for things to come in their own time. I wasn't prepared to do that. What, How did you what feel? What made life difficult for me was looking at people in their face and lying to them. Right. That felt wrong. And again, although there was a lots of smiles in front of the camera, deep down inside, it was, it was heart-wrenching for me. Yeah. But again, it was a decision I made and, you know, something that I ultimately regret now. But mm. again, I'm, I'm using my experiences to better improve myself and deter others from going on the same road that I have.